Welcome to Thrifty Thursday. Okay, this is a little section that I want to show you um, because quite often people think you've got to spend loads and loads of money on art stuff to be able to do art and it's just simply not the case. In fact, most artists at one point or another of their lives have been pretty poverty stricken, I think, um, and have had to learn the joy of being creative. In actual fact, I think it's a really releasing thing to learn to be creative with the things that you use. So, Thrifty Thursday is all about that. Being creative instead of having to use really expensive tools. We're going to start off with something um, that is an essential tool. In fact, everybody in my classes have this in their toolbox. It is the humble twig. Okay, um, a humble twig is so important to have instead of a paintbrush. You can do all kinds of things with a twig. You can use it in every single medium, okay? The wonderful thing about a twig is it sits between neatness and you doing something really, really naturally. Because as a, um, as a human being, always when you paint you want to tidy things up but then it doesn't look natural so if you use a twig it kind of puts puts something in between you and and your painting to make it look untidy so anyway i'm just going to get on with it and you can have a look and see what you think all right so we're going to demonstrate it in watercolor but in actual fact it works really really well with acrylic and ink really really beautifully in fact we will stick a picture up of some other ink paintings so that you can see it. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll go through a few other things while we're here. When you first start painting, let's say in watercolour for instance, there's a few things that you can spend loads of money on and a few things that, or well, you don't have to, right? Don't go off to your local art shop and go and spend a fortune on everything, okay? You can just get a good old basic set of paints you don't have to go and spend a whole pile of money on these really really expensive sets um just buy a simple cheap you know in these bookshops that sell them cheap at the back just go and buy one of those don't stint on your paper though buy really really good quality paper because as soon as you put water on cheap paper it buckles and as soon as the paper buckles all the paint reacts to that and it's so depressing and it makes you feel so fed up with your work, okay? So top tip, if you're gonna spend any money, spend it on your paper and nothing else. Okay, so let's go for this, right. So we're gonna just do a tree today, right. So we're gonna start off by wetting the twig, right? So we're not gonna use, we're not gonna use a brush at this point at all. Okay, so rather than watering the actual paint down. I'm just going to stick the twig straight into the paint like that. And I'm just going to go like that. The really important thing to understand about any art is that there aren't any rules. And the more that you learn to look around your environment and experiment with the stuff, in your environment then the more likely you are to have fun and to get some really good results okay all right so you can see this I'm just having a wiggle I'm really bad at knowing which trees are which sort so this is just like a nice sort of generic one that I sort of drive past on my way to classes and stuff I'm sure there's experts among you that know exactly which sort of tree this is. I apologise. I might just shove a bit of blue in there, that might look quite nice. Right, so that's the twig bit. Okay, now you can let that dry should you want to. Or, now often, if you, if you get like a set or if you buy some cheap brushes, that's okay. Cheap brushes are actually really handy to have in your kit. It's useful as you get further on with your artwork 
to spend a little bit more money on your brushes and certainly as you get more and more serious it's worth buying brushes. However, sable brushes, certainly for watercolour, are really, really expensive. So they're good for Christmas and birthday presents. But you can get synthetic and sable brushes, which are perfect, and nowhere near as expensive as sable brushes on their own. Um, so don't go to the expense of just buying sable brushes. Buy synthetic sable brushes, they're great. But you can find all kinds of um, really cheap brushes, and it's worth sort of like experimenting with them because you always need some level of sort of like cheap nasty brushes in your kit for different textures and things like that you should always be experimenting with different textures with different bits and bobs anyway right so now i'm just going to use like a really really watery blob with a really cheap brush just over and in i'm just going to let it do its own thing to a certain degree If you're not sure what shops to look in, have a look on the website, they might have some tips and things or just ask the question. Okay, I'm not going to do too much more to that because otherwise it's just going to be overdone. <coughs> but there you go, so you, you, you can use different twigs for all kinds of, you know, for all different side of... Have, it's, it's about having a play. Art's all about play, being playful. So look, you can do like little tiny ones. Mm, that's a real mess. But <clears throat> at the end of this we'll show you quite a few different paintings that I've done with using twigs so that you can get the idea of just all of the different things that you can do. Twigs are possibly the most useful handy thing to have in your tool and cheap as chips as they say. You can't get anything more free than that. But yeah, always be aware. Oh god, that one's gone a complete mess. But never mind me. It's all about having a play. You can put little prints in. There you go. See what I mean? Sometimes just the thing that you need is just at your fingertips and you never knew. Alright, that's Thrift Thursday. Thank you.